everybody fast bees if you would hit that like button for me subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh so i know a lot of beekeepers are probably having little bitty dinky clusters coming through winter that they're trying to get to spring and um and they're struggling and there's not a lot of information and it seems that the best i could tell is uh youtube's turned into hollywood and everybody likes to show you what they got going on and and the 500 likes on their videos that it's not helping you a damn bit so that's why i'm here <laughs> anyway so this is a double deep okay the entrance is on the other side it's facing downhill so this box is tilted so i have a grass seed bag here just to block the entrance from robin and cold wind and rain mostly because it's not slanted okay it has a double screen board and it has a tiny amount of bees on top and they don't get no smaller than this I'm not bringing them in the house I'm not passing uh all the bees that climbed out into the sunroom to the windows back into 154 hives infecting them full of virus bees and then ranting <laughs> how good i am Okay, this is some ideas, because uh, this is the way I see it, man, is, um, is nobody's teaching nothing. They get 500, like they get a free pass, 500 likes on a video that didn't teach nothing. They, it didn't help me a bit, didn't help you a bit, okay? I remember being a new beekeeper, okay? They're showing all this scientific stuff that was out 20 years ago as if it's new information. And, and the sad part is, is is these people should know how to do the test. I mean, you should know how to cage a queen for 21 days and use auxilic. It's been out since 2015. That's when I read it. Okay, so enough with my rant. Small colony. Got a frame of honey. Medium. Okay, this is a tiny colony. This probably ain't one medium frame of bees. What is this? It's a tent. Okay. Has star foam blocking it off. I create a small, tiny little nest out of honey. Okay. So if they need to, the bottom's open. They're getting heat off the hive below. And they can go under when they break cluster. It's warm today. And they got honey. But they don't need that. They're tiny. Okay. They have everything they need right here in this little tent. Okay, I'm controlling their nest. We didn't have a fall flow, so they didn't have much pollen. Got a pollen patty. They got honey capped. Some of it's uncapped. Okay, there's not enough bees in here to worry about ventilation, guys. They need heat. They need to be able to, they're not generating a lot of heat. Okay, so they got some, a little bit of honey, some capped honey left. They're not brooding, but just probably, you know, a half size, half dollar size patch of brood. They're tiny. So they're not going to be going through a lot of food. Okay, so there you see it. A tiny patch of brood. With some honey. Well, it's going to show you the queen, but I don't see her. Okay, we've had two big snows and ice. We just had three inches of rain and sleet the other day. Well, I did a video earlier and messed it up. Seen the queen. I don't see her now. She's down in the box or something. So anyway. This is um, foil. This is a heavy foil. It's a window shade. The wind is terrible today. It's really not cooperating. So. Made them a little tiny nest. And the easiest way to do this, guys. Lay your foil flat. And just take your frame and push it in. That's how you do that. And it can be pretty tight. You're not smashing bees. The 
they can still get to what they need okay so there it is i mean two big snows sleet twice there's bees flying it's probably not one medium frame i mean it don't get no smaller than that guys if i can do it you guys can do it okay but nobody wants to show you stuff that i mean new beekeepers have small colonies they split every time that they find a cell they don't feed properly they don't treat properly you know 20 hives probably 19 of them are stretched thin and and another thing feeding don't be afraid to feed some syrup if you got some flying days they need it in the comb they really do i feed syrup a few times through winter if they got some flying days if we got 50s coming or a couple days of 50s and or 60 i'll give them a gallon and let them process it in a few days i'm fine with it don't have no trouble you don't want every frame obviously uncapped with moisture but they need some moisture to drink uh, people act like moisture kills bees can't have no moisture well if you got water on top of your frames or it's wet then you got a problem you got too much moisture if you're not seeing that it's probably all right so i'll show y'all a couple little hives over here that have just started brooding and growing all right nice little population trying to get started see a couple high beetles it's not a problem i'm gonna concentrate on some small high beetle stuff this year i don't everybody's still freaked out you still got people saying small hive beetles kill hives i don't get it man uh i don't i don't know i, I just it, it blows my mind i don't know why people say that they should teach people how to manage their hives to cover the combs well enough it's not a problem you don't see no traps in my hives not slimed out. I've never had a hive die from small hive beetle. This sucker got robbed. Or it had a mouse in it. Looks more like a mouse at one time. But I don't know. I guess it's good for Hollywood YouTube. Because that seems like what it's turned into nowadays. Nobody's teaching you nothing that's valuable. Alright, so I'm looking at their food supply. I'm expecting them to be brooding. They got the population to do it. Full honey frame. It's about 60 degrees here today. I'm not concerned. This thing feels like a heater. So there's the brood. And I guarantee the next one. Heck, well, it will show it too. And all the hives have started. They're all doing good. That one's laid up full of larva. Cap brood. Okay. Frogs are peeping. I got syrup out. And um, I'm firing them up. I got hives that have drones already capped, not hatched. I haven't seen none walking on the frames, but lots of them are making them and have them in the cap stage. I seen one earlier that had some hatched out, but I didn't see them on the frames. So it's earlier than normal, but frogs are peeping i'm feeding syrup we're supposed to have snow in a few days i'm not concerned about that a little bit of syrup i mean people are scared to death to get in their hives and do anything because it's not warm enough scared to feed them i mean i guess they'd rather them just starve and and wish they'd have opened them when it was 35 degrees and put some food on them real quick 
but it's just something you got to learn to get comfortable with you've got to uh you got to do what you got to do and that's just all there is to it you can't wait on mother nature all the time and uh so since they're uh they're going for it i'm gonna lay the juice to them and um they're brooding they got pollen they got food and uh, as far as i'm concerned it's an early spring and um but so my work starts now basically i'm laying the feed to them syrup and um so we'll check out some more all right guys so here's another one starting to brood Small high beetle. See, they're eating the pollen. So they're starting up. Oh, this one ain't attached. All right, we'll look at it. So, let's see what they got going on. I know y'all been missing me. I know y'all that like information, not Hollywood YouTube. But you know, it's kind of people's faults, I hate to say. They just automatically assume if it comes from them, there's the queen, that the information is correct because who it's coming from. Even if it's to put vinegar and sugar bricks and cook it and create hmf acid when you want your winter bees living as long as possible hmf acid kills them a lot faster so i disagree with it i don't know we got uh i don't know i wish michael palmer would come back a real teacher there's, there's not a person on YouTube hold a candle to Michael Palmer. Not one of them, as far as I'm concerned. So they're brooding. Most of it's hatched. I mean, nobody's showing nobody anything that's relevant. And I know not all YouTubers, that's their gig. Okay, but the ones that claim to be teaching and they're the best, I mean, that's what I expect. And um, I, I don't know, I can't hardly watch it no more. It's so disappointing. It really is. It drives me crazy. I, I, can't, I can't hardly watch a full video. Either it's everybody blowing up each other's egos, not teaching... Or it's uh, acting like they're the best and saying some dumbass stuff. And I know that's blunt, but that's just the truth. And that's why y'all watch me, because I keep it real. Okay? You know, some people never say nothing negative. They don't want to lose viewers. They want to get likes, you know. Uh, someone needs to say it. I guess it's me. I mean, I think I've shared more relevant information that hasn't been shared on YouTube more than anyone. And uh, I don't know, it's never been about growing the channel, but I think I'll just be a savage and start calling people out. And uh, in the meanwhile, those of y'all that stick with me, I'm gonna teach y'all some stuff this year. And uh, not all Hollywood clown stuff you know like right now we're getting flying days there's syrup in this feeder see it look at that bees need food in their comb they need that to stimulate them i need to get these colonies stimulated and brooding to catch the early flows. Our flows are really short. We have raspberry, blackberry. That's our biggest flow. A lot of times it gets rained out like last year. Okay. Now I can't dictate that. But I do need to have the hives built up enough. That they can take advantage of it. When the flow happens. 
and strong enough that I can make queens when the bees do it on the flow. So much love. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be back. And uh, the hives are killing it. So um, it's going to be on this year. See y'all.